Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another tech video. In this tech video, I'm going to be taking a quick look at and showing you how to install Slim Bean for the Nexus S. So let's get started. Okay, so this version of Slim Bean is uh, made for the Nexus S. I believe there is a Nexus S 4G version available. It is based off of Android 4.2.2, and uh, all the links will be down in the description as usual. So, of course, what you're going to want to do is reboot into recovery. However you'd like to do that, um, since this uh, ROM doesn't allow me to do it straight from holding the power button, or at least not that I could find, uh, we're just going to go ahead and use ROM Manager. Of course, you want to scroll down here to backup current ROM first. And you just go ahead and rename it if you like and hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and hit Reboot to Recovery. Okay, so once we are in Recovery, uh, because you've made that backup, uh, everything here should be fine. You're going to go ahead and hit Wipe Data Factory Reset. Scroll down, hit Yes. Now, uh, the UI might be a little different depending on uh, your version of Clockwork Mod. Um, I'm using the Touch version. Um, or uh, if you're using Twerp, um, then you might also see a little different screen, but basically everything's the same. Wipe cache partition. As I've mentioned before, I'm not sure if you really need to do this, but um, I always uh, I always do it just to be safe. Uh, then sorry. Wipe Dalvik cache and uh, go back. Install zip from SD card and choose zip. Now, if you visited that link straight from your Nexus S or your Nexus S 4G, you're going to do it the way you're seeing me do it. And if you visit it from your computer and then dragged it over to the root of your SD card um, or what would be your SD card, so in no folders, then uh, you're going to just scroll or just hit the up and it should be down here. Now, like I said, if you download it straight to your device, you're going to go ahead and hit download and then you're just going to search for it. Slim Crespo 4.2.2 build 3 official dot zip. Now you're just going to go and click on it and hit yes and it will install. Now um, like I said since this does, has, since this does have a Nexus S 4G version, if you're running that it might say Crespo 4G. Um, so just uh, be aware. Of that. Okay so the install is complete. That was pretty quick. Now we're going to go ahead and hit reboot system now and uh, just let it do its thing. Now just keep in mind that the first reboot will be the, uh, will be the longest. I expect it to take maybe around minute and a half maybe um, if it's taken you know more than uh, three to ten minutes that's there's something wrong with it so as you can see there there's the boot animation and uh, I'll just let you I'll just shut up and let you guys watch that okay so uh, it took a little longer than I said uh, it took maybe about two minutes almost um, but again that's pretty normal so don't worry if it's taken that long uh, like I said though if it takes really long then uh, that's not normal Okay, so here is Slim Bean. Uh, after you get past the initial setup, um, this is what you have. First thing I noticed um, might be able to be uh, configured, but uh, I this is not this widget right here is able to be. Um, as you see, it's it's not persistent. It's not a persistent search bar. Um, it's on the first screen. That's it. You have your little Google apps here. Um, launcher settings, Hollow uh, Locker. <clears throat> and uh, you have more stuff in here slim file manager uh, you have your dev tools the older version of music because I don't have the um, the G apps installed but it looks like it did install the Play Store for me so that's uh, kinda cool might not have to install the G apps um, and then you have your hollow launcher HD you have a widget right here for that and a search widget um, which I don't know why I brought that up it's there anyway I believe um, so yeah, it seems pretty uh, pretty fast. Oh, and you do have it. Sort it scrolls all the way around. So just for anybody wondering that, um, it seems pretty snappy. We'll go ahead and take a look at the settings. Um, I think they put the font to small, so that actually it actually looks pretty nice uh, at small in this ROM. You can sort of see more um, in the settings menu. So as promised, this is Android 4.2.2 on the Nexus S uh, Slim Bean. Um, there's everything right there and I know that some of you uh, do wonder you know how much RAM does it have um, I will show you how much RAM it has this is before installing the G apps so we'll go to running and the available RAM is 208 megabytes right now uh, when I have settings Google services Google Play Store and the AOSP Android keyboard running uh, it's at 227 so I'm guessing it fluctuates between low 200s to um, 230 around there so just for anybody who's wondering about the RAM um, so that's it.
for this uh, how-to. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give a like, subscribe down there because I'll be having more, as well as a giveaway. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.